Good morning and welcome to Climbing Daily. Welcome to the Midi in Chamonix. Now every now and again we get a piece of gear that we get to test up in the mountains. Today is the best kind of day. So this is Johan, he is the better looking version of me, he does the uh, French <laughs> show uh, Relais Vertical and he's going to help me out with the gear testing today. Sight? Yeah, we try to speak French. Yeah? yeah. Uh, are you? Ah oui, 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 So we're up here in one of my favourite places in the world on the Midi Bridge and this is the Beale Ghost Harness. It's only 250 grams of the small version, so think ultra fast and light. This is the harness if you want to go mountaineering and you don't want any of the faff, if you're climbing hard sport routes on your red point. But what we're going to do is properly put this to the test. So we're going to go and climb an alpine ridge, we're going to go trad climbing and then we're going to go indoors and do a bit of falls and sport climbing. It's going to be a good day. So it's a beautiful morning up here on the Midi. I'm with Johan, uh, we're just walking down the Arete. First impressions of the harness for me is the low sort of uh, size in your pack. Like my normal harness takes up a lot of room. This thing is just like nice and compact. You look good. You yeah. look good. You look ready. Let's go do this route. La, la, ya, la, la, ya, ya. So we're just walking along the glacier, heading to our little route. Absolutely beautiful out here. The sun's come out, the wind has died down a little bit, and it's a lovely, lovely place to be. So because of time, we decided to pick a quick, short route to the hut, back to the midi, and then down to the valley for a bit of trad climbing. Yeah, so this is the base of the route, Johan. Kind of curves up to the right, finishes yeah. in that hut. I reckon we just smashed maybe up this bit. Do the squags here. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fun. So we're going to take our crampons off because the route, as you can see, has zero snow on it. Uh, you tend to keep them on when there's sections of snow and then rock, but this is just straight rock climbing. So crampons off, smash up there. Yeah. Okay. I ruined the shot. So we're, we've just come through the little cruxy section of this route and we're almost at the hut and as you can see, well maybe not, the weather behind us is starting to come in and there's a big storm forecast so we're going to run along this last bit of ridge, get to the hut and then get back to the midi as quick as possible. <sighs> right, so that's the route part of our day done. Uh, harness felt cool to me. Uh, how was that for you? That was fun. <laughs> Danger. Um, yeah, the harness felt good. Like I think the good, the the, t the time you can tell a good alpine harness if you don't ever feel like it's on. And I didn't. It just I felt my gear. I didn't feel the harness. So I think that's a good first test anyway. Yeah. 
Right, so as we said, the weather's coming in, so we're gonna spin to the array and get out of here. So as you can see, there's a snowstorm coming. Uh, me and Johan are getting a little bit wet. So we're gonna head up the arete, the last hill, let's spin up there. That, as always, was completely knackering and uh, my terrace jacket is getting a bit of a paste in. So we're gonna spin down uh, to the valley to see if we can give this harness a little bit more testing. Welcome to Guyon. This is a sport climbing uh, crag right in the heart of Chamonix, but we're not gonna go sport climbing. We're gonna take the harness, the ghost, trad climbing. So we're gonna ignore the bolts and just use gear. Now, this harness is not designed to be a trad climbing harness. It's only got two proper, proper um, gear loops at the front, the back ones are kind of floppy, which is brilliant for mountaineering and sport climbing, but less good for trad. But here at Epic TV, we like to test things to the absolute limit. So trad climbing it is. Okay, because we do this for you guys. got that done literally by the skin of our teeth. This rock is so slippery. It's a bit like slate um, when you touch it. So with that rain, and then I decided to do half of through the 6A variant rather than the 5C, which we we're gonna do. Oh yeah. So it was a little bit slippery up there. But the harness actually was kind of cool. I really thought it would be sort of finickety to, to get gear off, but it felt pretty good. Having this floppy back gear loop isn't ideal for trad climbing, but for that sport climbing red point and for mountaineering, it's so good to have that, that personally I'd sacrifice that if I wasn't cl trad climbing very often. So I think with every harness you've got to make compromises and that's what you have to on this, but wow, it felt light. And these Dyneema little uh, bits into the leg loop uh, are kind of have a stretchy little bit on the top of them, which is brilliant. The whole thing feels brilliant. It feels like you're not wearing a harness. Cool, thank you. So we've escaped the rain to our favorite climbing wall, the Zouche climbing wall, to test the fallability, it's a technical term, of this harness. Because this is a high-end sport climbing harness as well as a mountaineering harness, and there's a big old steep wall behind me, which we're gonna fall off. Whenever you're ready. Okay, so we're alive, we're not cut in half. Uh, Johan, how was the fall for you? Oh, it was good. Uh, comfy actually yeah. uh, a bit scary because you're really thin so i was scared that you can't hold my weight <laughs> but no it was, it was fun but this really tiny stuff works yeah <laughs> i mean it's it's like obvious to say but this has been tested it's not gonna break but you do have that thing in the back of your head so it's good to test it and know it's okay and also as johan said comfort wise that felt absolutely fine to me. It was like my normal, bigger sport climbing harness. This felt just as good. So it's that weight distribution thing, I think, that helped that. So yeah, we're alive. That was a pretty crazy day, but fun to do lots of different disciplines. So in conclusion, what do I think of the Beale Ghost harness? Well, for alpine climbing, honestly excellent. I, I never really felt like it was on. The gear loops were the right size. And as I said in the video, if you don't feel it, it's doing a good job. Sport climbing indoors, I was very, very impressed. Uh, it didn't hurt me when I fell off. Uh, super lightweight, of course. This could be one if you're a competition lead climber, this might be worth looking at. For trad climbing, 
look, this isn't its natural habitat, let's say. That back floppy gear loop isn't the best, but it works, it does the job, and if you had to have one harness, it's always gonna suffer a little bit in one of the disciplines. So very impressed with the Beal Glows harness. There's a link in the description below if you wanna check it out a little bit more. And of course, we'll be continuing to test this and let you know what we think.